Vision is behind the making of runners. You're welcome to Tuesday, the 24th day of November, 2020. As is suggesting today is titled, Immorality and Vulnerability of Life. The Bible says, What know you not that he which is joined to an harlot is one body? For two said he shall be one flesh. But he that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit. Flee fornication. Every sin that a man doeth is without the body, for he that committed fornication sinned against his own body. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 16 to 18. Thought for the day. Sickness. Sicknesses are easily transferable through immorality and iniquity generally. Immorality, like every other form of sin is a major channel of afflictions. It increases a person's vulnerability to diseases and afflictions and destruction. Immorality increases vulnerability to satanic confrontations, curses and attacks. 1 Corinthians 6, 16 to 18. Sicknesses are easily transferable through immorality and iniquity. So generally people contact easily contact the human immunodeficiency virus, that is the HIV, gonococcus bacillus, syphilis, bacteria, um, trichomonas vaginalis, candida albicans, herpes virus, and so on and so forth, through immoral activities. Also, disfavor, what they call bad luck, curses, covenants, demonic spirit, are also transferred when people engage in immorality. Some time ago, I met two prostitutes who were engaged in a conversation with each other at the Transcorp Hilton Hotel in Abuja. Um, then I decided to preach to them. Now, one of them was telling the other person something like, I don't know what happened to me the other night. There was this man I came in contact with. And since then, my body has been very hot. She may have come in contact with a man loaded with evil spirits or something. You see, the transactions of immorality are beyond the flesh. Immorality joins minds to minds, spirits to spirits, and affects the entire life of a person. The point of contact, which is the flesh, is just a gateway for a dual carriage access to many negative things, vice versa. Beloved, when you live in immorality, you become vulnerable to any attack that can come through the other person. You also become vulnerable to a greater dimension um, because of the direct attack on your spirituality and your faith. Please desist from it. That shall not be your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember this, that sickness Sicknesses are easily transferable through immorality. What's our assignment today? Number one, make up your mind to walk in the spirit always in order not to fulfill the loss of the flesh. And number two, flee immorality. Physically, safeguard your life against immorality by avoiding associations, sights and sounds that can lead to immorality. And thirdly, Take a periodic consecrational fast to put your flesh under your control and under subjection. Praise God. Hallelujah. I believe that God is set for your blessing and your lifting and you are set for his blessing and his lifting in Jesus name. Let's pray. Say after me. Thank you, Lord, for your word to me today. I receive the grace to live in purity in Jesus name. Amen. Praise God. I won't conclude on today's um, episode until I have prayed for you. You want to make your ways right with God. You want to be born again. You want Jesus to be the Lord of your life. Simply pray this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. I know I am a sinner. I need your help. Jesus, please come into my life and become the Lord of my life. Make me a new person. From today, I go forward ever and backward never. In Jesus' name.
Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. And today is your birthday, the 24th of November, 2020. Congratulations. Happy birthday to you. As your day, so shall your strength be. God cause his face to shine on you and be gracious unto you. In Jesus' name. Congratulations. Have a wonderful day. Peace. In Jesus' name. Thank you.